find like, I would agree. you know, like I've done an art fair, which is not I mean, so great, I found out. It's, it's pretty, <laughs> um, but then, it's pretty you know, cool. like I've done some yeah. <laughs> right now. Um, The retention rates, comprehension rates with just text, uh, as much as just 20%. But if you add interesting visuals, uh, sound and movement, uh, those retention comprehension rates uh, can go up to almost 80%, which is, which is very, very cool, especially when you want to engage your audience um, and encourage uh, uh, learning and motivation. Uh, I'm Cable Harden. I uh, teach animation and film at South Dakota State University School of Design in Brookings, South Dakota. Uh, these were created a couple years ago for a um, project about uh, integrated pest management, I think, uh, specifically bed bugs for use in the hotel industry um, and like assisted living industry. Oh, so okay. how, how do you how do you, what are bed bugs? Mm -hmm. How do you identify them? Um, their biology, uh, how to manage them. All right, so this is a series of four or five, four or five animations. Um, and the initial proposal was, uh, it was this, this guy. He was, um, he was in someone's luggage. And he hopped out on the bed and started talking about the great trips that he's had. Uh, and then, and that, that little, it was a 30 second spot, oh, and in that 30 second spot, um, the, the PI was able to get, you know, get funding for, nice. for, for more, which was fantastic. Very cool. We knew it had to be engaging, and we wanted it to stand, stand apart, so I, I suggested, um, let's do something that the audience can connect with. So we made these um, really gross uh, bed bugs that are fascinating, fascinating creatures. So the K through 12 and even K through 16 curriculum is kind of missing the yeah. arts driven, um, media driven uh, content. And a lot of that has great potential to work with animators, musicians, and uh, you know, these, uh, scientists kind of coming together, bringing all of these ideas into an artistic, understandable uh, I mean, I know you use piece, of, use piece of piece of work. Yeah, that, you, you know, know can communicate to um, broad masses the general general aspects of research. Souls, because I'm a grad student, Souls Alive is the only kind of extracurricular activity that I'm involved okay. in. Okay. But uh, um, so Souls Alive started with some uh, close friends of mine who are musicians, and they encouraged me as a scientist who is teaching a group of middle school students about soils to drop the PowerPoint presentation and turn the lesson into a uh, uh, kind of a, a, a song, a sing-along, that they could actually get into and be able to memorize the key points. So that's where it started. We recorded them, and by accident, it turned into a really good success. They, you know, the musicians kept developing the, the, the audio tracks further and further, and then we had The Souls Alive, which is an animated, ready piece.